So check it out. I spotted this uh, Subaru Forester, and um, you know it's usually all-wheel drive, turbocharged, but uh, this one's different. This one has been customized, and uh, it has an electric motor under the hood now. They took out the uh, turbo uh, engine out of there, the gas engine to get out. Matter of fact, it has motors in every wheel, so it's a real all-wheel drive. But uh, yeah, let's uh, take a closer look at this thing and talk to the reps because uh, this is a cool little project for sure. What's up guys, I'm at SEMA and you see some cool vehicles at this show. And uh, this one here caught my eye because look at the engine here. Actually, it's not an engine, it's a motor, I guess. But um, it's actually the battery. Oh, that, oh, okay, there you go. Well, you know what, got Chad here. Tell me all about what's going on with this vehicle. All right, so we have this um, 2014 Subaru Forester. It's a turbo originally, but we completely gutted it, took the engine out and all the transmission stuff, and uh, well, we built three 15-model uh, battery packs. Wow. And we have, we want to knock power, so we put a motor for every wheel, and we put a gearbox in the front and the back. Oh, so wow. So like direct drive, get a little bit more power. We're actually looking at about 540 horsepower. Nice. And how much torque? About 9,200 uh, 9, newton meters. I can't remember how that translates. But yeah, what does that translate to? I think it's about <laughs> 6,300 foot pounds. Woo. Okay, that's that's good, man. That's yeah. awesome. That's the benefits of going with electric, though, right? Because yeah. you got all that torque instantly. Right. That's cool. And then there's a motor in every wheel. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> cool. So, um, can you go from front to back and kind of point everything out, really, of what we're yeah. looking at here? So, I mean, why, why did you guys go with such a big, crazy, beefy bumper? Well, I mean, the idea for this is to make a fully autonomous electric off Oh, it's autonomous as well. Well, it's not yet. But oh, but it will next, be. That's going to be the next one. Oh, that's what these are. These yeah, are yeah. Orders. We have two light orders attached to the car. Oh, yeah, I see it up there. Yeah. Yeah, and so we wanted to go with a more rugged look for the car, just for the off-road look. And yeah. So we have a 12-gauge sheet metal bumper. Linex. Make sure you guys heard that right. It's Linex. Yeah. <laughs> is it lifted? It is. We put a four-inch lift in there so we can get some bigger tires in there. Oh, okay, awesome. Very cool. And then uh, what about inside? Is everything the same? The AC works and all that good stuff? Everything pretty much works on the inside. We're still um, trying to get everything reseated okay. uh, back right now. But yeah, the inside didn't change too, too much. But because we have three battery packs in here and we put one in the trans tunnel, we actually we did the center console. And so we have a joystick that's going to be part of the autonomous part of the project. Oh, that's wild. And then right now the, uh, the tablets are charging, but there's uh, electric charging pads right here. And there's actually one that we can swap out the joystick for and put another one in there. And there's one more in the back. Oh, okay. And those tablets are going to be linked in um, via Bluetooth. with, um, And so we can actually see what the car is seeing through the LiDARs and through all of the cameras that we have mounted. Because we actually added to the eyesight cameras um, that came standard on the car. Like we have one on both sides of the car here. And we actually have two more that are right here. Oh, in the front the there. You can kind of see it. Yeah. We've got two more that are mounted yeah, right in the back. Here. Very cool. So, you know, I was going to ask you, um, what kind of performance are we getting out of this as far as like range? I mean, I guess it depends on how hard you drive it too, right? Right. right. Yeah. So right now the projected range for a fully charged battery pack is going to be um, 240 miles. Wow. Yeah. Um, That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. And then uh, how long does it take to recharge those batteries? Well, that's actually another thing we're doing. Standard charging time would have been 30 hours for these battery packs, but we're actually setting it up for DC fast charge, which is going to be about two hours. Nice. Very nice. Where's the plug-in for that in it? Anyways, um, it's actually on the other let's, side. Go, let's go take a look real quick just to show the guys what it looks like. This is pretty much your standard kind of plug-in. Um, but like mm -hmm. I said, it runs off the, it can do DC fast charge. DC fast charge. Which is basically just means this uh, charger your charge port has uh, an upgrade, mm -hmm. upgraded feature. Uh, it's a Brusa charger. If guys want to buy something like this, is this something that you guys are going to be selling soon, or is this a project? Um, what, what's the reason for this? Uh, this is completely automotive research. Oh, for, okay. From Mississippi State University. From yeah, yeah. Center for Advanced Vehicular Systems. <laughs> research part. You can't yeah. find anything like this anywhere. All right. So one off you're not going to be able to buy this because the, i know there's going to be guys watching this video they're like i want an off-road vehicle that's electric you know but no one makes a, an electric off-road vehicle except for that one um 
I forgot the name of the company. There's one out there, yeah. but well, not very many. Some of the issues you're going to have with that is generally when you do off-road, it's going to have a lot of mud. Well, yeah, battery water. Packs, battery yeah. packs and water don't mix. <laughs> um, this oh. is actually a special proprietary kind of coating. Really? Yeah, we um, have some friends down at Clinton Body Shop, John Mosley. Uh -huh. Give them a shout out. What's the, do they have a website? Uh, I'm not sure if they have a website. But, but you know where they're at. What's the name of the company? Uh, it's Clinton Body Shop. Clinton Body Shop. Okay, yeah. there you go, guys. John Mosley actually came up with the coating, and I can't really tell you anything about it because <laughs> it's proprietary. But, yeah. Um, Oh, yeah, now that I look at it, yeah, there's like different shades. It's darker towards the corners right. and then lighter in some it sections. Black, the paint job has a black undercoat. Oh, it's got yeah. A pearl flakes in it. Yeah. It's got this uh, candy apple kind of color to it. Nice. And, uh, yeah, they feathered it around all of the corners, so it gives this nice uh, kind of shade. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you, Chad. Yeah. Awesome <laughs> vehicle. I, I think this is one of the coolest cars here, man. <laughs> All right. Oh wait. Um, are you, did you uh, have any like websites you want to plug or anything? Um, uh, if you want to look up the Center for Advanced Vehicular Systems, you can definitely do that. You can just Google it. There's only one of us. Oh, there you go, guys. Check them out. That's the uh, Subaru Forester Electrified. Thanks a lot, man. See ya.